Hi, I'm Gemma and I'm mummy to Izzy who is eight, Ollie who is six, Mason who is three and baby Ottilie who has just turned 14 weeks old. I think one of the biggest things when you're a new parent is adjusting to night feeds. They can be absolutely exhausting, especially when you've come out of a pregnancy where you probably didn't sleep much towards the end and then all of a sudden you've got a baby that's waking through the night and they need you and they need to be fed. So today I'm going to share a few tips with you that I found to help make those night feeds just a little bit easier. So my first tip is to make sure you have everything ready for what you may potentially need for a night feed. That includes nappies, wipes, a change of clothes in case of that inevitable poo explosion that they're probably going to have in the middle of the night, um, a spare dummy, make sure your bottles are sterilised. So if you have all this ready to go, it means that you're not going to be wandering around in the dark trying to locate everything and just keep it in one place on the side and then you're ready to go for any eventuality. I'm very lucky that my partner is happy to share night feeds with me. He's actually very good and he'll always be the first one up if one of the kids cries, so I am very lucky. Um, but they are exhausting and if you can share them, that does make it a lot easier. So in the middle of the night when you wake up, if you're anything like me, you're kind of in a bit of a daze. So a thing that I found really helpful is to pre-measure out my formula into the small pots that Tommy Tippy make. Um, so then when baby cries, you can just literally whack the lid off, tip it in the bottle and you're ready to go. This leads on to my next tip, which is the Tommy Tippy Perfect Prep Machine. Now, I swear by the prep machine. I've had one for my last two babies and... I don't know how we did it before with the other two. We had the original prep machine, but we now have the Tommy Tippy day and night prep machine. And some of the amazing features on it include that your bottle is ready to go at the right temperature within two minutes. It has a night light on it, so you can see what you're doing if you're trying to do it in the dark. It also has adjustable volume control, so you're not waking the whole house when it beeps to let you know that the bottle is ready. It also has a step-by-step -step guide to making the bottle. Again, when you're a bit bleary-eyed, it can all be a bit too much um, so it tells you every step that you need to do to get that bottle done perfectly within those two minutes. The machine also works with most bottles and all formula brands so you really can't go wrong with it. So another tip is to have a light with different brightness levels um, so that you're not waking everyone in the room when you're feeding in the night and also you're not turning on the light really bright in my case and waking all the other children up and them thinking that it's morning time because you don't need that. So I hope you found my tips for making night feeds a bit easier helpful and the important thing to remember is that the night feeds don't last forever but enjoy the sleepy nighttime cuddles while you can because those are my favourite bits of having a tiny baby. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!